So in the latest PES Wind magazine, and if you haven't received your copy, you can go online to PESWind.com and read it online. Uh, there's an article that I found interesting, which was, uh, it's a company called Canvas. And Joel, you and I saw this, and Phil, you saw it too, when we were in Minneapolis. They're taking sections of uh, recycled blades or recycling blades into pieces and then making uh, furniture out of it. We saw some of that in Minneapolis at ACP. And, but the, also they're having artists paint these pieces to make them more architecturally pleasing. And this whole operation is run out of Ohio, outside of Cleveland, Ohio. And, I, you know, remember, Joel, when it, you and I were walking down the aisle with it that one day, we're like, oh, there, there are artists here painting these turbans. Yeah, I honestly thought it was something that, like, ACP was just doing for the show, right? Like, sometimes they have those things. What was it, like, uh, uh, ACP O&M this year, we were in San Diego, and they had, like, a, a Top Gun, like, Tom Cruise look lookalike people. Or when we were, we were somewhere else, and they had some people line dancing in San Antonio or something like that, I was like, oh, this is some gimmick that ACP's doing. I didn't realize it was a company that was doing this and it was a part of the, and they're in the aisles. I stopped and watched a couple of different artists paint on these things. They were fantastic. I even, um, over by our booth on the far east end of the conference center, there was a bunch of these kind of set up in a little area. I went and took a couple of meetings and calls from them. I <laughs> sat down in the furniture and, <laughs> and tucked, tucked away into the corner and had a phone call. It was kind of comfortable. Uh, but yeah, really cool. So you see, uh, you know, a lot of people, uh, of course, recycling blades is is all the uh, a lot of the talk on the, in the industry right now. And it's it, I mean, now there's we've got companies doing it right. We've got people making uh, making new end user products. We, we you know we're doing the cement kiln thing and we're making uh, a lot of things out of uh, recycled wind turbine blades. Uh, but upcycling is also a thing. So upcycling, you're seeing. University of Georgia or Georgia Institute of Technology was making some bridges. Uh, they've done some bridges I've seen over in the UK and in Denmark. Ireland, Poland, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of things going on in that space. And, and uh, Canvas out of the out of Ohio there, they're doing some really cool stuff. They're making like picnic tables and outdoor furniture and uh, civic art, some other things. So yeah, more things happening in that uh, wind, wind turbine recycling world. Yeah, it looks like they can recycle about 2,000 blades a year doing this is what they have the capability to handle. So that's exciting. Pretty cool stuff. And if you want to see more uh, about wind energy and all the different aspects and where the technology is headed, then check out PES Wind at PESWind.com. As wind energy professionals, staying informed is crucial and let's face it, difficult. That's why the Uptime Podcast recommends PES Wind Magazine. PES Wind offers a diverse range of in-depth articles and expert insights that dive into the most pressing issues facing our energy future. Whether you're an industry veteran or new to wind, PES Wind has the high quality content you need. Don't miss out. Visit PESWind.com today.